I told no chocolate in my drinks. <laughs> him mook. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eat Spin a Minute, where we revisit a smashing Toledo favorite and interview a Toledo celebrity. We are in episode three here, and we have city council person, city councilman. Member. City council member. There you go. Nick Comives. <laughs> <laughs> that is my full name. Yes, and we are here at Actual Coffee. This is the roaster. Yeah. Right, this is not a storefront, this is a roaster. Lance is a, is, is a friend of Smashing Toledo and he allowed us to use this. So, COVID restrictions here. All right, let's double check. Are we six feet apart? Here we go. I'm gonna back up a Do you bit. need a bit of help? I'm gonna back up. All right, okay. All right, so I'm gonna have to sit, wait, I'm gonna have to sit out of frame. All right, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much for coming here. Um, I gave you a big list. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right? Of places to choose from. And and you said that actual coffee would be a first. Is that what you said? Yeah, I mean, I just didn't know if they had like an actual coffee shop. It's pretty cool here, right? I would want to work here. I feel like you could be a, a sommelier. <laughs> is that what it's called? I don't know what it is for coffee. Actually, Lance told me it's called a Q grader. Oh, okay. It doesn't have a cool French name. A friend of mine got a job at a dispensary in Michigan. For we, weed? Yeah. And apparently their title is Bud Tender. No. <laughs> No, I don't believe you. Dead serious. Take two. Tell me what it's really called. <laughs> That's it. A bud tender. Bud tender. All right, it's gonna. It takes a pothead to come up with something <laughs> that stupid. Can we talk about your beard? It is the uh -huh. best looking, most full, prim, proper, and preened beard I think I've ever seen. I'm actually extremely jealous. I am extremely flattered. Do Thank you, you have someone for this? I do. Yeah. No, I mean it's phenomenal. Thank like you. mine looks like. Someone got brake dust on masking tape. <laughs> Your sauce only You have a nice shape to it, you know? I, I, it's fine. You, you have this thing where it doesn't quite connect right here. And I don't See, know you bring it out. See, I know. Is that yeah. what it is? No, yeah. yeah, this is. But I don't think it looks bad by any means. No, it's I, I, don't nice. it looks, looks I don't think it looks good. We'll let him vote. We'll let him vote. <laughs> Does it look good? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Do people have expectations of a city council member? There are expectations I have all the time. I wear jeans every day. I don't care. I'm not going to. jeans on now. I got jeans on now. I went to a Those meeting some one smooth time. smooth-ass jeans, right? man. Aren't they nice? Thank you. Where'd you get them? The I buckle? got these at Marshalls. Mar no sh Heck yeah. Do you know how much I got paid to be on council? I can I'm only assuming not much. $16 no. jeans. <laughs> not much. Because I know how much it pays like for anything in Toledo. You know, I'm in the dating world and I'm like embarrassed by how much I make, you know? Because what's funny is that like I have this job that gives me like an air of like, yeah. oh, he must be whatever. Meanwhile, I'm like living in an attic. <laughs> I'm living at the attic. I'm wasted all the time. Basically, <laughs> crying That's in it. my beer. That's it. Is that Nick? Again? <laughs> Is that a sleeping bag? Third time today. <laughs> <laughs> There's hair gel over there. He's living here. A blow dryer? That's, That's him. That's <laughs> Where's the plug? There's no plug here. He brought his own generator. See a spray painted extension cord? Yeah. <laughs> so it's white in the snow, so no one sees it. Do you have a unibrow too? Oh yeah. Do I have a unibrow? Of course I do. I, I just thought I'd ask. What, it's what's not your heritage? A unibrow. What's your heritage? Uh, Hungarian. We didn't have the internet back then to actually verify things. No, I know. So I just welcome. Yeah. That's all we had. Yeah. <laughs> Hungarian. So I am Greek and Italian. Okay. I don't know if you could. You could probably tell by how much I move my arms <laughs> and how I got in a fight out there before we started. Did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Six dudes. They were talking to me funny. All right. Came up a cut and smoked the palm wall. <laughs> Forget about but it. But forget about it. <laughs> All right, this is the one game I wanted to play. All right. It's a guessing game. I'm ready. I am going to uh, let you know that I played this with someone earlier to see if it would work, and they got every question wrong. So that means that I can, if I get one question right, I've already done better. So that's the, this, yes. the, the bar is very low. Have you ever been a uh, bartender? I have. So you might actually do better. Oh, okay. Because the name of this game is called, is that a vape liquid or a mixed drink? I'm ready. So I'm just gonna say the name, and you have to say vape liquid or mixed drink. That's it. Okay. First one is Spider's Kiss. Kiss. Vape liquid. No. Drink. No. <laughs> What's in it? Okay. Do you know? It's horrendous. Oh god. Okay. All right. It's melon liqueur Ugh. with chocolate sauce drizzled on the rim, so like it drips down to look like a spider's web. Yeah. And then a chocolate dipped orange slice. Okay. Horrendous. That person who invented that should not have a job. Yeah, an uppercut by a short Italian. <laughs> I told no chocolate in 
in my drinks. <laughs> f him mook. Sucker punch. That's a drink. <laughs> Dang it, I'm gonna get all of these wrong. <laughs> Juicy Lucy. Ah. Wow. Vape liquid. <laughs> Turns out I didn't bartend for people who like weird drinks, Dude. apparently. So actually, my my bartending experience really came from when I worked at Outback. Steak and lobster. My least favorite thing about working there was like all of the people that just like wanted to like play that up and then like expect me to play along with it. And meanwhile, I'm like, please stop talking to me. I've got like six other tables. I need to go refill this Coke. Like, is obviously this? I'm not Australian. Get out of here. And you're not either, okay? <laughs> Neither is this place. Right. It's you not even, like it's not even really meant to be like an experience. Like There's not a room in the building. You're paying $9.99 for a steak. A salad, a drink. Right. Get out of my face. There, there is 100%, there is some death involved in here. Right. For this to come to your plate for $9.95. Right. And it's the death of my innocence and my care. Gone. Lime, Lime Ricky. Ricky. Vape juice. <laughs> you know, I'm going to guess vape juice on the next one, by the way, just because so far you haven't, like, okay, doubled are, up any like, of are, them. Are you sure, though? But I'm going to give you the last one. And, man, I am about to shake your confidence. I can't wait. <laughs> Baja Breeze. Uh, drink. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> but anyway, okay, this was episode three of Eat's Been a Minute. This was City Council Member Nick Comives. We are at the actual coffee roaster, Lance Roper. Hey, Lance, could you come in here for a minute for the video? If, if you want, yeah, just, just peek in and just give us a peek into the camera, Lance. And that's it, Nick, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna do the Thank COVID bro yeah. fist. Appreciate right there. the invitation. I, I, it was so much fun. We had a lot of fun. It got real crazy. <laughs> Doesn't take long, usually. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> <laughs>